Hello, this is Paul Rustan and welcome to my tutorial on how to body paint Master Chief with airbrush. I will be using European Body Arts Vibe gold, black, green, and white water-based makeups. The airbrushes used will be the Badger Omni 3000 and Vega 2000. Mixing a 50-50 ratio of the green and gold will result in a slightly brighter metallic green. Freehand airbrush this new metallic green color as a base coat in all the areas you plan to show as a green armor. Do not worry about the edges at this point as we will define them momentarily with the color black. All you should be concerned about here is getting nice even coverage of the color as a base coat. Using a straight edge made from acetate, mylar, cardboard, drawing board, or pellon, begin to define the edges of the armor and fill in the empty spaces with a solid base coat of black. You may notice that my shield has one side straight and one side curved. This gives you more options with creating shapes. Now using the same shield, begin to create form and dimension by creating shapes onto the armor. Think three dimensionally and try not to be too random. You will need to become comfortable with painting with the shield to understand where the paint overspray will begin and end. So practice on a piece of paper or newsprint beforehand. Continue to do this step on the remainder of the green base coat. Get as creative as you'd like. Don't concern yourself too much with perfection. Think suggestion, as the viewer's eyes will be looking at this illusion as a whole, not in detail. Notice how I use repetitive patterns against standout shapes to differentiate the design. This contrast gives the result a more unique look than just using the same pattern all over the armor. Now, using European Body Art Vibe White and a fresh shield cut with a unique polygonal shape, I begin a repetitive pattern all over the black base coat. I differentiate the black armor shield work by keeping the white detail predominantly horizontal lines. I envision this material to be flexible because it is built in sections with numerous joints. Continue this process on the remainder of the black base coat. Be very careful not to overspray onto the green armor as this area is intended to appear underneath it. The 
final step of the Master Chief is adding subtle highlights. Still using the vibe white, create pinpoint bright spots onto the body band. Be careful not to overdo it. A great way of understanding good placement of these points is to imagine which corner of each three-dimensional object is nearest to you. Try and imagine one set light source and keep it as accurate throughout the body painting as possible. And that's all there is to it. Now go get creative. How can you apply these same techniques to other body paint ideas? <laughs>